Here we have the Boost Mobile LG Tribute HD. Let's open it up, take a look at the phone, see what comes with it. First, we'll take a look at the box. Very nice box that this comes in. We'll get back to this in a minute. Open up the flap. Nice looking phone. This stuff here is about Boost Mobile, not necessarily about the LG Tribute HD. All right, now Boost Mobile, as you probably know, is the MVNO of Sprint. All right, so let's go and look at the features. Here on the back of the box of the LG Tribute HD from Boost Mobile, 5.0 HD touchscreen display. It is an HD display, however, it's not 1080p, it is 720. We got Android 6.0, eight megapixel rear camera, five megapixel front facing camera, talk time, and this is actually a quad core processor. We got a 16 gig ROM, so 16 gig of storage basically, and 1.5 gig of RAM. All right, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Just open it right there. All right, that looks like everything in the box. Cool. There we go. Here's the phone, very light, very slim. Feels pretty nice, actually. Especially for such an inexpensive phone. There's your charger. Then, of course, we have all of your getting started with Boost Mobile, setting up your phone, everything you need to know if you want to use this with Boost Mobile, and, of course, the information for your phone there. And lastly, we got the battery. So we'll go ahead and pop the back off this phone and throw that battery in there. As you can see, it comes pre-installed with the Boost Mobile SIM card. That looks like a nano SIM to me there. And also right on top of the SIM is where you would put a micro SD. So you're not just stuck with that internal 16 gigs. You can throw one in right there. Pretty cool. Get that in there. There we go. Button her back up. Taking a look over the phone, this back actually has a bit of grip to it. It's not completely slick at all. There's our camera. It looks like we even have a flash, a speaker. Now you notice on the left side, we actually have our volume rocker on the left side. And on the right side is our power button. Now I'm usually a fan of Windows phones because a lot of them will include a camera button. No dedicated camera button on this phone, but overall pretty nice looking phone. That is quad core by the way. I mean, you would not find a quad core uh, like this, especially with a five inch screen, HD screen, no less. Uh, even a couple of years ago for anywhere close to this price range. So this is actually pretty interesting, a very slim, and you can see how slim this phone is compared to our Equos here. Even our Windows phone is pretty slim, but this one here is even slimmer. Although this is a six inch screen we have here. This is a nice five inch screen. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. All right, initial startup. We get a little bit of feedback there, vibration feedback, turning this thing on. That's nice, especially for a phone at this price point. Android, we got 6.0 on this. There is our splash screen. Pretty good looking screen, I gotta tell you. Especially for a phone at this price point. It's quite amazing how far phones have come. There we go, a nice little tone. You probably didn't hear that because I'm wearing a lav mic. Little LG tone. Of course, first time you start up, it's gonna take a while. So we'll go and let this start up. All right, so we actually pulled out the uh, SIM card. This comes with a Sprint SIM card, by the way, because as we mentioned, Boost Mobile is a Sprint MVNO, but there you can see how good the screen looks. You can see it's actually fairly viewable from a lot of angles. Pretty responsive screen. Doesn't take too long to start up. We'll take a few pictures with it, maybe a couple of videos and just test the uh, camera to see how that does. Not bad. Pretty nice interface. Overall, seems to respond fairly well, pretty quickly. Again, we don't have a SIM card in this. We're just using it over Wi-Fi right now. As you can see, it's very, very responsive here. That quad core and 1.5 gig of RAM. All right, so that is the LG Tribute HD from Boost Mobile. One thing we didn't show, it does have a headphone port right down here along with your micro USB charging port. Overall, pretty nice phone. Again, we'll have some pictures and videos showing here. Very responsive phone. I mean, for the money, it's not, not, not a bad price at all. Not a bad phone at all. Very, very light. 
easy to hold on to even without a case. Feels really good in the hand, very slim, would be very easy to just slide this into a pocket, no problem. Overall, pretty nice phone, especially for the price. So you can go to Boost Mobile to check it out. You can find these at Best Buy and other online retailers as well.